Ford V8 motor is a beautiful piece of machinery. In mechanics, beauty means simplicity. Here, skilled workers repeatedly disassemble and assemble a standard Ford motor to demonstrate its qualities of simplicity and accessibility. The average time required for them to completely assemble the V8 motor is less than 10 minutes. During this demonstration, many of the exclusive features of Ford V8 design become apparent. Spectators gain a better understanding of its remarkable performance, its records of long service. Simplicity of Ford V8 design is strikingly demonstrated by the fact that a Ford V8 motor can be and is assembled before your very eyes in less than 10 minutes. of the Ford industrial world is depicted on this huge relief map. Aluminum cylinder heads are standard equipment on the 1934 Ford V8 passenger car engine. The story of aluminum too is told at the exposition. The molten metal is poured into a mold to emerge in the form of a V8 cylinder head. An escalator provides an easy approach to the balcony in the Ford Exposition building. Hexagon-headed bolts of uniform size and accuracy are produced from cold steel by a battery of automatic machines working with great rapidity. Even spark plug insulators for the Ford be early tested. If they can be lifted from a packing of dry ice more than 100 degrees below zero and suddenly thrust into a hot flame without breaking, they prove their ability to withstand punishment in actual use. Utilization of byproducts helps in quality manufacture. A Ford V8 contains more than 15,000 separate parts. Each of these, large and small, is displayed in this interesting exhibit. machines weave spider-like wiring systems. Wires like these will connect the lights, self-starter, generator, storage battery, and horn. The Ford Exposition includes an air-conditioned theater. A motion picture with special symphonic music tells the fascinating story of the Ford Rouge plant. Nearby, the latest Ford and Lincoln models are on display. of the Ford Exposition is the humble shop where 40 years ago Henry Ford, then a young unknown inventor, worked and planned and dreamed high dreams. There he built his first automobile. There too he conceived the theories of low-cost quantity production which have made his industrial organization the largest in the world under the control of one man. The vast improvement in machine shop equipment through the past century is vividly depicted by an early machine shop. In contrast, is modern equipment, which tests Ford parts with an accuracy of expressed in millionths of an inch. With one foot on the land and one in industry, America is safe, says Henry Ford. At his exposition, may be processed for industrial purposes. An extensive display of early traction engines stands in front of the Ford barn. The barn contains machinery which converts soybeans into the parts used in Ford cars. Mr. Ford has long predicted a closer and mutually profitable union between farm and industry. This Ford part was made from soybeans processed in the industrialized barn. Many visitors to the Ford Exposition make a circuit of the roads of the world. 
Ford cars are placed at the disposal of guests for a trip around the Oval, which contains sections of many famous roads of the world. Henry Ford has said that the auto made roads, and roads make commerce and civilization. In the short space of a comfortable four minute ride, these visitors are carried back through a period of 4,000 years to roads which knew the tread of the Roman legion, the yellow hordes of Genghis Khan, the moccasin feet of Daniel Boone and his Indian friends. They see the homes of men and beasts as they rot beneath the fierce rays of the sun, beating down upon the great slave route across Africa. Here also are sections of roads from Germany, Belgium, Canada, Southern Africa, Asia, England, and many of the more modern types built in America today. Military roads, roads built exclusively for royalty, roads for slaves, all are there in this significant exhibit. Now, once more nightfall overtakes us. We end our day at the Ford Exposition by joining the throngs who sit at twilight in the amphitheater where the Detroit Symphony plays daily. memorable day, this one at the Ford Exposition. Here we have caught an echo of the hum of machinery and the throb of busy activity from the greatest of all industrial plants. Here, we have been able to sense something of its high purpose and its vast significance. The Ford Exposition is at once the fulfillment of a promise and the realization of a dream. It is an indication of the future, a reassuring prophecy of another century of progress.